what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel my name is charles i have a transportation company i have a fresh washing company and my goal is to help people build their businesses and you know get a network going of transportation companies that way we can help one another grow and take our businesses to the to the next level i do do a, a, a few other things that i do on the channel i haven't really gotten into those things but at the end of the day, it's all about entrepreneurship and making extra money and, you know, things like that. So anyway, uh, I just want to break down my plan for th for 2021 to make $12,000 a month for my child transportation business. This is not passion to pick up. Y'all, my goal in the transportation is to, my goal is to make, tw is to profit $20,000 a month coming from my transportation just in general and which is that that's kind of like on a low end once we get you know out, uh get everything going with medicaid or whatever like that you know but i'm not in a rush y'all i'm just taking my time with it I, i'm excited but at the same time I, you know i'm not in a rush and it takes time to build a transportation company y'all because i can talk to y'all about this stuff but at the same time you really got to figure out your market. You really got to figure out your area. Right, you really got to figure out how you want to execute. So it took us five years for us to get to this place. Now, mind you, know, $7,250, this is how much we're profit at our expensive expenses. But $12,000 a month of child transportation is on the low end because this is just us running, you know, two to three vans. This is not us running three, four Dodge Caravans out there. I mean, that's what we used to do in the beginning. I mean, we was making bank, but me and my wife was driving. We had to figure out a way for us not to be running around with our chick, like a chicken with our head cut off, which, which I'm saying there's not nothing wrong with doing that, but I'm trying to tell y'all it's an easier way. It's an easier way to do it, you know, uh, but we are going to do that. We're going to have a few vans out here. But I just want to show this math because I feel like showing this math is a little bit easy. Uh, so anyway, let's get to it. Okay, plan to $12,000 a month. This is for next school year. We're not doing the business this year, y'all. All right, so I'm going to talk. I'm drinking on my coffee tonight, y'all. And I'm going to lose some weight in the videos, y'all, over the next few days. I don't think there's nothing wrong with me. But, uh. I know how sometimes when you don't, people know this stuff, but I'm on a weight loss journey right now, y'all, so, and I'm doing a little fasting, so I'm going to lose some weight, but everything is okay. Anyway, so, we're going to need a 21 passenger and three 15 passengers. Okay, we already got one 15 passenger, so we're going to need two 15 passengers, and we're going to need one 21 passenger bus, so I know what we're going to need in order to hit this. You know what I mean? I know how much money we have to spend on vehicles. I know that, but I, and I'm not worried about that. I pay cash for my vehicles. I'm not doing car payments because I feel like car payments and car insurance too much. But anyway, Boys and Girls Club, y'all. All right, so it's a lot to come in consideration with this. So our goal is to do 30 kids at $40 a week. That equals $1,200 a week. And that's gonna eat that's gonna equals up to forty eight hundred a month, y'all. Just for the boys and girls club run. Now the boys and girls club run. Usually, you gotta understand it's ten schools in this area, probably more than that. Ten schools in this area, so thirty kids to ten schools is nothing. That's how you gotta look at it. That's nothing. I know that's nothing right there. I know that off the top. So that'll be one driver doing that. Even if that one driver gotta go to two schools to get the kids, you know, you do one run, drop the kid, drop them off, then you go back, you do the other school, and then drop them off. Really, we're not gonna have three drivers, but I, I do three drivers just in case. Uh and I get to that later. All right, next we're gonna do one way transportation goal. 20 kids at 250 a month. That's equals five thousand dollars a month. 20 kids at 250 a month. We charge 250 one way monthly. 
you know. And what, what I'm saying by that, we don't, we, that's usually in the evening time. We'll get those 20 kids out of those two, those, those 10 schools in that area. But it probably, only, we'll probably get them between those, between three schools out there, not the 10. But I'm just putting, I'm saying 10 because we started our transportation with a, in a market like that. That's the point of me saying that. That way I know I'm going to get them 20 kids. Because you got to look at it. You talking about 20 kids in 10 schools. You can't get 20. You can't get 20 clients out of 10 schools. So you know you can. That's, that's easy. So that's why you try to find a market where you know the schools are going to be at. We did round trip at five kids between 450 and 500. We used to give a discount. We give a discount all the time. $10 on a one way for the month. We always get a discount when they do monthly. So I'd put it on a low end four fifty. That's gonna be twenty two, you know, twenty two fifty a month. Uh, we don't usually do a lot of round trip, even though sometimes they do call us. But we don't like working in the morning. We don't like driving in the morning. So we got to take my son to school. So that's why I don't mind doing four or five. And we'll usually do the run to take those kids in the morning, and that'd be that. Okay. Now let me try to talk about this. Okay. So look. With the Boys and Girls Club, we had 30 kids, right? One way we had 20, round trip we had five, okay? Now, we had one driver doing the Boys and Girls Club and one driver doing all the, uh, the one way. So, I got three drivers just in case it's, it's a little too much on the 20 kids. Because if it's too much for that one driver, then we had to throw another driver in there. Because sometimes you don't know where the kids are actually going at when they get out of school. So sometimes it might be too much. So that's why I put three. I put three drivers in there. That way everything can balance itself out. And then this driver even can help out a little bit. We can have A and B buses uh, come to the school. Because the Boys and Girls Club run usually only take about 30, 40 minutes. So if he... If he need to stop because his hour is going to be too short or whatever like that, then he might pick up a few kids from a school or something like that just to make everything even. So on that 21 pass, it might just, it, it, it could be only 15 kids on there because that driver went to that school and got those other five kids at the, uh, at he did his boys and girls club and run, he go ahead and take them kids home. So that's going to put you at 12,000. 50 a month. Now, mind you, this is on a low end. So, but the thing is, this is where we're going to start from. So, the more vans you get, the more you can expand, the more you can build. That's not including if we did, if we did morning, y'all. Uh, people trying to go to school, ripping and running, you know, picking up kids from here and there, here and there. But we, we, we're just not doing that right now. But we do plan to do that as the clients call, if it's, if, if we feel like it's something that, that we can handle, then we're going to do that, but, uh, as of right now, we're not, uh, because you always had those loose clients, when I say, hey, you ripping and running, but you can build a route, you actually can build a route off of those clients that call like that, so those ones that call in the morning, if we can build a route like that, then we'll probably go in and do it and let somebody else drive. So that's what we we'll do. But it got to be worth it. Um, It really got to be worth it because it's going to be – really, I ain't going to have no van. They're going to be driving that 15 pass because I ain't putting no insurance on no day on caravan. And my mom paying $300 a month. So it just got to be worth it for the gas. Or whatever for the fifteen passes because I won't have a van. I, I a minivan. I will run those trucks. So next, one point five million insurance for four trucks. That's gonna be twelve hundred a month. Three part time workers at ten hours an hour, four hours a day, which they're not gonna be working four hours a day. They probably gonna be working three, but we're gonna pay them for four. That's uh twenty four hundred a month. You know that'll be two hundred dollars a week for somebody working three hours. A day day that's going to put you at you know 1000 a month for gas we usually spend about uh 70 dollars a week 75 dollars a week 
that's what we were spending last year. Uh, we wasn't spending a whole lot of money on gas, like I said, because the way we did ours, we made sure that all the schools was in the same area. And mind you, you know, drove the van or the vehicles 30 minutes to uh, to get to the schools and 30 minutes back home. I still was only spending like $75 a week for gas. So I put for I, I put a thousand dollars a month for gas. I put two hundred for maintenance. That's gonna leave you what forty eight hundred as your overhead. You know what I mean? Forty eight hundred for your overhead, and then that's gonna profit seven thousand two hundred fifty dollars a month. That's what me and my wife a profit from this business right here, working three hours a day, three six nine twelve fifteen. Yeah, working fifteen hours a week, y'all. Uh, and that's us not driving at all. So this is like a slight. I can't put everything in there, but this is kind of like a slight, you know, uh, a little bit of my plan for next school year. So I just wanted y'all. I just wanted y'all to see inside of my brain and like, you know, how I think things over for the transportation company. But mind you, like I said, y'all gotta figure out the areas. This is it's almost like this area up here is catered for child transportation down here in North Carolina. Or at least this part of North Carolina anyway. So and like I said, so say next year I want to span, I wanna to go to another part of North Carolina. I know where I'm gonna start building that company at. And so you can go to that area. This is just one town where I'm talking about this at. This is just one little city so one little part of a town so just imagine if i go to the riley or clayton or ghana and do the same thing there even if you don't make that much say you might profit four thousand a month you know what i'm saying and you could do it in another little part you might profit three four thousand dollars a month you got three little hours like that you banging and like I said, this is not even including passing the pickup. This is not bragging or anything like that. I haven't even implemented this this year. I'm not even doing it. So I don't want y'all to think it's like that I'm saying it like that. What I'm saying is you got to think things over and know your market and do your math and, and know what you can do in those areas. So never go too high. I'm going to say too high. You know, always do your plan on the low end. To me, I feel like this is a low end because I've been in that area for so long. I feel like this is the low end. Uh, even if it is other companies that that come out there, I mean, I still don't think they're going to touch us because, you know, we build relationships with the parents. We build relationships with the schools. I mean, they love us. You got to understand child transportation. It's not all about the money. They, they, they want to be able to feel you when they call you and they talk to the staff, talk to the person on the phone. You know, that's what they want. You're talking about kids. That's the most precious thing in the world, somebody's kid. They will pay anything for their kid to get back and forth to school. So uh, so that's all I really want to share really on this video, y'all, was my, my plan to $12,000 a month for my child transportation business. Uh, next school year i'm not doing child transportation so like i said this is just one part of the business i do another breakdown for passing the pickup uh so for passing pickup i'm gonna make a lot more money than this uh, so that's why i'm kind of excited about the transportation industry and uh i'm very excited about it i just want to show y'all one thing on craigslist if y'all made it this far in the video that i forgot to show y'all yesterday when i did the video all right I forgot to tell y'all go to ride share. Ride share right there. Go to ride share. And you'll see stuff up there. I mean, it might not be nothing you can do, but it's good to just check just in case. Just in case. Go to ride share. So let's see. Sometimes you have companies up there, but then you have people that's trying to get uh get rides. You just gotta watch out just to get your money first. You know, because you got driving need at best prices in town, the transporter, who's going to ask you. Just see if there's anything in your area once you go to uh, ride share.
yeah so uh that's it y'all so that's all i want to do in this video uh i hope i hope y'all learned something from the video but my main purpose is to share this with, with shan is just to show y'all how i kind of think when it comes to the child transportation and this i don't want to say this how y'all should be thinking but if y'all ain't nowhere near like trying to figure out your numbers and planning it that way you can know off the top what you're gonna need or if you if you, look at what you got right now just don't be out there running running around like i did y'all uh, that's why i'm saying is don't do that have a plan don't be out there running around like i did in the first three years so try to figure out a plan and execute that plan and you know grow slow if you only got five clients so what be happy thank god that you got five clients and just continue to build but keep your job don't quit your job don't quit your job don't do that uh but y'all be blessed and have a, a good night